Homemade bread baking in the oven has such a wonderful smell. Did you know that when you smell bread baking, you're smelling a sign of a chemical change? A chemical change happens when particles link together in new ways to produce substances that are different from the original substances. Bread's key ingredients are flour, water, yeast, and a little sugar. When you combine and heat these ingredients, they form new compounds. There are other ways to identify a chemical change. Chemical changes often cause changes in color, odor, and temperature of matter. Bubbles may form, showing that the matter is producing a gas. You can tell there has been a chemical change instead of a physical change because it can't be undone. You can never turn bread back into flour and water. Let's look at some more examples of chemical changes. The color change on these leaves during the fall from green to brown shows a chemical change has occurred in each leaf. What about this rusting metal? When iron and oxygen combine chemically, the substance that results is rust. Rust is neither iron nor oxygen. It's a new compound. A new compound is a sign of a chemical change. Oxygen also causes another common chemical change. When chemicals in a banana react with oxygen in the air, you notice changes in color, texture, and smell. The banana turns brown and soft and starts to smell rotten. Combustion is another form of chemical change. Wood reacted to heat and oxygen, resulting in this campfire. The change formed a new compound, ashes. Chemical changes are all around you. How many can you identify today? What changes occur when this ice cube is crushed with these pliers? As you can see, the ice breaks into many small pieces of ice. This is a block of clay. It is soft and can be shaped into something different like this turtle. And these chopsticks used to eat food were shaped from trees like these. All these materials have gone through a change, a physical change. A physical change is a change in the size, shape, or phase of matter without the matter changing chemically. Let's look at some more examples of physical changes. When relatively cold, the water in these icicles is frozen rock solid. But as the temperature warms, the ice gradually changes to a liquid forming these liquid drops of water. The water changed phase from a solid to a liquid, but still remained water. Temperature can play a big role in physical changes. Temperature can also affect the size of objects. For example, this metal lid expands when exposed to hot water, thus making it easier to loosen. And this bicycle tire contracts or gets smaller when the temperature decreases. This can be seen easily in a thermometer. When the temperature increases, it causes the liquid in the thermometer to expand and then rise. But when placed in ice water, the red liquid contracts and then drops. Another example of a physical change involves water. Water at room temperature is a liquid. When the water is placed outdoors on a cold winter day where the temperature is below zero degrees centigrade, it changes to its solid phase, or ice. And if the water were to change to steam or gas, it changes its phase but still exists as water. In a physical change, matter can also change its shape. For example, these branches are long and thick. But when placed in this chipper, they get ground into small pieces of wood. The wood chips come from the wooden branches that were changed physically into smaller pieces of wood. Their shape has been changed. We have studied some examples of physical changes, including changes in size, phase, and shape. Now let's explore other changes in matter chemical changes.